Let's do it. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Well, we're starting to have spring here in Eastern Canada. Got a bit of a cloudy, sunny day today. But we got to get the snowblower off. We got to get the backhoe on. We got a lot of projects that we're going to work on this summer. So today we're going to get the snowblower off. I'm going to show you step by step what I do, how I put my snowblower away, and then we're going to start working on that backhoe. I don't know if we'll get it done today. I got some other stuff that has to be done today. But uh, that's the plan. Let's stick around. All right, let's just do a little quick walk around. I like to do that in the spring just to check, you know, if we got anything hung up in all the blades or anything. Chain is still nice and greased. Got a lot of grease back there though. I've got a can of uh, Kubota orange that I'm gonna do all the touch up with some of this, as you can see. Yes, I know it's crazy, but you know, I really don't want any rust to form, and as you can see, it's going to go away nice and dry. The adjustment was good. Everything's good. Everything's the way it should be. Yeah, there's a bunch of oil lying around, but as you know, I really lube this up because I use that motor quite a bit. So today we're going to have to disengage this shaft that's on the PTO and take off the three-point hitch. And I usually store it on a skid. So that's going to be the job for today is taking that off. I don't think we're going to lube the chain. The chain is still nice and lubed. There's still a lot of good grease there. But probably in the fall when I put this back together, I'm going to shoot that with some more Kubota orange. Because I don't really like all that. That's just little pieces of rocks that I pick up from my driveway. As you can see, they kind of get in there. They kind of, you know, mess up the chute. So that's what's on tap. Let's get that off. Let's get started. Well guys, I'm pretty excited to tell you that I bought something for the channel. I've been looking at it for a while. It's about a year I've been wanting to get one. And I finally pulled the trigger. I bought one on Amazon. I've been playing with it for a few weeks now. And I thought we'd do the introduction today before we get started. But have a look. Yep. We got a drone. It's the Mini 4 Pro with the RC2 controller. Pretty stoked about it. It's going to be great to add a little bit of drone footage to some of the videos. We won't do them all and maybe we're going to do some landscape videos too. But pretty excited. It's really cool. I love flying the thing around. You get some great footage. So let's put a little footage in this video just to give you guys a little taste. guys what a day we're having seen getting a little snow out there today so let's get started by uh, taking off the pins we got three of them we're gonna get those off and then of course I have the safety chain that's got to come off we'll get that off 
just let that drop down. Now we're going to get into the shaft that is extendable. It does move. Uh, so we're going to just pull that back and then pull out the shaft from the other side. We're also going to unplug the electric cable for the motor for the chute. So that's done. I got another safety chain here. Let's get that off. So pretty much we got all the three points off. We can let that go down. Pull out the other one. And then we'll pull out the other side. Yeah, we're not going to get that out straight away. So we're going to need to lift that arm and start the blower to get her going. So let me just get in a better position here so that we can take off the... Uh, the mount off the shaft and then we'll be able to loosen that side off so that we're able to move the tractor forward and get the three point off all right so we got the blower off we moved the tractor forward now we're going to get the three point off and get it ready for the backhoe so the three points pretty simple to come off it's just a couple of cotter pins that we got to remove we'll take out them we'll just set them aside for now put all the parts on one side this thing always gives me trouble every year. I'll just put that aside. Now we're going to take out these pins here for the three point. Set those aside. Then you've got a little tiny pin back here that just gets pulled out. All right, cut. All right, so you can see I got the other side off. So we're just gonna get this side off. Always try to use gloves because there still is grease all over the place. And the last thing you wanna do is get that grease all mixed up in your hands. I like to put these pins back in down here so I don't lose them. The top pins, I just put them right back where they're supposed to go, like this. Always good to keep everything together. As you take things apart, take note, take photos, so you can put them back together properly. I got two different colored gloves on today, how about that? And the last thing is to just put this last pin in. So we're going to do that, and then go finish up with the blower. Alright guys, so... We had a little catastrophe. I forgot to put my jack stand down and the blower kind of tilted and fell over. So you didn't miss much, but you have to put the jack stand down to keep the blower level. We're going to put the pins back in. The clips. We don't want these things to get lost. So I always try to put everything right back where it came from. Nothing gets lost. And then we want to take the uh, PTO shaft. And as you know, I have my little safety chain. So what I do is kind of just run it up through there. I just bring it around to the front and hook it on that chain last thing is to just take the power cable from the rotary mower and I just kind of put it up through there and then bring it here so it stays out of the way as I mentioned before we're not going to do any more greasing at all we're not going to do any more greasing at all on the uh, Lower. we got lots of grease we're gonna do a little bit of painting in the fall with that Kubota orange so that's gonna pull it for today we're all done we're just gonna slide it into the garage and I think we're gonna hit the uh, backhoe next week so thank you very much for watching thanks for subscribing thanks to all my subscribers please shoot me a thumbs up and have a great week